Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 9, Episode 3. Oh my god, I thought we had seen the last of you, sir. Now you're back and you're going to cause such a nuisance. How'd you sleep? With my eyes closed. <laughs> That was suspicious. Why was that suspicious? Let's report things were good. Maggie will be there soon, thanks to you. It's just Maggie's trying. I know she is. But she's still angry. And so is Daryl. Maybe others. Oh, you want me to go? I'm assuming I'm not hiding it very well. <laughs> you want me to stop creating the foundations of a new civilization? Well, I can think of another way. Build for the future. Oh, was that him saying, girl, I'm going to try and pregnant you, girl? Yeah? Apparently so. Do they really feel that civilization is stable enough to um, purposely plan to bring another child into this? Idle down there, Kimo Sabe. We're all one big kumbaya now. I was gonna say, aren't we meant to be friends? Ish? We're looking for a friend who went missing last night. What you got in the bed? Fuel tops half of the deal for the ethanol. Shipment we never got. Yeah, that went missing too. Oh god, what's happening? Just like you said. It's your name. Mark you down for that. Oh, that was very brazen, wasn't it? Mark him down for the tomato. Thanks for bringing it. We're going to make good on the fuel as soon as we can. Gotta go. Gotta get back for the next shift. So you is too big for your boots. We need to knock him down a peg or two, Maggie. Oh my god, what happened to my voice? <clears throat> oh my god, have I finally gone through puberty? See, encounters like that are just going to make Maggie more pissed off that Negan's still alive and we're Chilling with the saviors. Come on, Daddy. Two, three. Oh! Wow! All we ever wanted was everything. Oh, look at them being happy and smiley for once. I'm just gonna appreciate this scene for what it is. Family time. I'm gonna try and ignore the massive Carl shaped hole in this scene. <laughs> but it looks like they're going to try to replace that anyway. As the hours passed and nothing terrible happened, she stopped worrying and resolved to wait calmly and see what the future would bring. Oh, wait calmly and see what the future will bring? Probably nothing good. It's one of the saviors. He was missing. Others were getting suspicious. He was found, but he was dead. But it doesn't look like an accident. Someone definitely took him out. Oh, I do. I'm going to pretend I don't do do. And that's it. Blissfully unaware. Happy family time over. Come on now, you guys. Come on. No, no, no. no. What if we get over here? Oh, huh? Hey, hey, guys. Yeah? That's it. No. Well, I'll be surprised that shit like this is happening. We were enemies not two episodes ago. <laughs> stop! Stop! Stop it! You're not one of us anymore. Uh, us means all of us. <coughs> oh! Go shovel that horse shit to whoever killed Justin! Justin. That was his name all along. I thought you were supposed to be our leader. Why don't you go ahead and yank that Roscoe pop me right here? It's better than worrying about getting it in the back. 
Oh, thanks for the permission. Let's go. No guns. That because you're the one who took out Justin? Nah. My money's on garbage, lady. No. It's him. Finishing what he started. Well, to be fair, everyone could be a suspect because Justin was just an arsehole. Come on, Gabe. Everyone back off. Right now. Saved by the man on the horse. It was going to get bloody. We are not doing this. Now, these falling aside saviors, we do not want them around. They're making everything so much harder than it has to be, and we're already in an odd situation. Anne's been one of us for a while now, but I gotta ask. You know where she was last night? On watch, with me. You stayed all night? <laughs> yeah, they did. Did. <laughs> Oh, see, now we've got to figure out alibis. Um, who was where when Justin's life was taken? Hmm. So who do we think did this? It's a mystery, isn't it? I understand why whoever did do something they want to say they did something I want to know because I want to give them a good old strong firm handshake did you see anything you think I'm hiding something oh, I mean I think you're hiding a lot of shit to be fair but in this case did you see anything did you do anything either way she's not gonna say anything I don't think it was Anne, no, because you can't just make love to a priest and then murder someone all in the same night. That's gonna, like, fuck up your soul, surely. Yeah, wound on Justin. Looks like a puncture. I wondered if it could be for a knife. But it's small, round, and clean. Like an arrow? Just kind of shit you used to do. Yeah, investigation, interrogation. You really think I did it? I don't think you did it. No. But others do. So I'm making sure. If I'd have killed him, I'd have killed him in plain sight. And then stabbed him in the head afterwards so we couldn't grass you up. But I know why. So do you. Bringing all these people together. It was always gonna happen. Uh, yeah, ain't that the truth? I said that earlier. It's the right thing to do. The future belongs to all of us now. Why do they get this future? And Glenn don't. Mm hmm. Or Abraham. Yeah. Oh, with you. I'm never gonna forgive the majority of them. The kingdom lost. For a long time, I wanted it to, maybe more than anyone. But killing each other. When the world already belongs to the dead, it's not the way. Not anymore. Yeah, but everyone doesn't share that same mentality. And you can't have some people preaching peace and other people preaching war and expect them all to be without conflict. Saying, what is in this building? Do we really know to go in now when there's walkers in there? But now there's walkers not in there no more because they broke out. <laughs> Wait, who shot that one walker? Oh, it was Daryl. I was thinking someone else has an arrow. Yeah, just opened it back up. Wait, so if she's got a wound on her hand that's just been opened up and then she was like getting squished with a load of walker blood, is that not going to contaminate her? B, 
Abby, wake up. Char, why are you sleeping on a job? Oh. Are you okay? I don't know. I think something hit me from behind. And all right? I don't know. <clears throat> Thanks. What is that instrument in her hand? That looks good enough to puncture a small hole. See, there's a revolt within the camp. We knew this was going to happen. Say we nab the perp. Then what? Who decides what happens next? Is it, is it going to be a Gregory or a Negan? <laughs> do they stay alive or do they die? Maggie's like, don't ask me because my thought he'd get a save of throne because if it was my choice, Negan would have died ages ago. Pair up with someone you trust. We're out there till we find her. I actually don't know who we're looking for. Today, I saw it starting again, and I just wanted to pull that trigger. <laughs> End it before it begins. Oh, no, right? Prevention is better than a cure. I have this moment. Usually right when I wake up, this feeling that I should go down there and kill him. You should probably listen to that feeling. I need to honor them. To build life, not not take it. Not by keeping their murderer alive. You go with this? I'm just playing nice for Rick. I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. Can't they just sneak down into the cell, kill Negan, and then if anyone has an issue with it, which I'm sure the majority of people won't, but for those who do, just go, I don't know what happened to him. He died of boredom. <laughs> Look, there's this puncher thing. I know he took a run. I don't know what he said to know why Maggie had that face. Frequency mode. It's Jada's. I thought you were called out now. I know you're in range. I saw the helicopter last night. What is this helicopter all about? I keep seeing that. It keeps making a cameo throughout this series. What do you have? Oh my god. A or, a B? a or B? I don't know. I don't know the answer. I didn't study. Is it you? You take them? No pickups, but the deal still stands. Deal? Do you have an A or a B? What's going on? What will it take? Mean. Who was that voice? An A. Why do we not want to be anymore? Tomorrow. <gasps> Gabe. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to, Jan? Because that's Janus and Anne together. Whatever the fuck her name is. Were they right? Did you do something to Justin? Hopefully. No. Then who were you talking to? What did you do? We knew she had secrets. And this is really secret. Bad things. Tell me the truth. Answer my questions. Please. You traded people, yes? What? Pardon? Yes. Pardon? That's what you were going to do with me. With Rick. Trade him? And people fall in categories, A's and B's? Traded people to do what? It didn't start that way. It just... It just ended up there. Traded I don't know what the hell that means. For what? I tried. I mean, I know you're getting supplies, but what is happening to the traded person? Leave with me. What? And, and, and where? Um, There's another place. Where? It's far from here, but if we go together, we can get there. Why are you throwing all these truth bombs at us? I was not ready for this. Oh, I don't think that's safe, but I really want someone to go so I know what the fuck she's on about. You can't tell anyone. Are you taking a piss out of my life? I'm going to tell everyone. 
and help me with one small part of the deal. We can have a life like you can't imagine. One small part of the deal? Is Gabe the deal? Whatever this is, I can't do it. Not me. I have to tell Rick. Oh! You can't choose me. No, honey, I've just met you. I don't even know your name. I don't know what's an A and what's a B, and I don't know who you got to deal with. I don't know who you talk to, and I'm all talky. And all this time, I thought you were a B. What does that mean? <laughs> oh! Are B, A and B's alpha and betas, and she thought Gabe was just a beta, but because he's like standing up for himself. So, oh, actually, you might be an A. That's exactly what we need. I got a clue. Total shot in the dark. What is going on? Do we have a new enemy? I have to write this down. There's quite a few plot points to discuss. <sighs> no! Don't be trying to kidnap my Carol. Do you not know who she is? <laughs> Drop it! Uh, don't. This is what I'm saying. Just kill them off, please, Rick. Seeing as how we're being hunted and all, maybe it won't come as a big bombshell that we're vamoosing out of your little pet project. <laughs> we don't need a babysitter. It doesn't have to be this way. Talk time is up. Toss DJ your gun. Yeah, to be fair, Rick, people aren't going to listen to you, so stop preaching the same thing over and over again. They ain't going to respect the wishes of their kid. They didn't know him. You do this. There's no going back. He ain't gonna do shit. Everything we're doing, it ends. And then with Justin, there's no going back from that. It's over. See, this is what I'm saying. Do not fuck with my Carol. This ain't our first rodeo, sir. Keep pressure on it. We'll get to camp, fix you up. Oh, stop trying to heal everyone. Why not just take me out? I know, right? Because every life counts. <sighs> Whatever. I'm not into that mantra, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> beg. Beg. Like you made them beg. Wait, what is happening here? What have we intruded on? Drop it. What is happening here? Eh? There's the punch a sticky thing, I swear. You take out Justin with that thing? This is what I'm thinking. He killed my husband. All fair and love and war, mate, I say. Well done. We're going to promote you to chief savior killer. People will find out. She's the last one. After this, it's over. Maybe for you. But it won't be. Wait, have they stole the blonde so one as well? Going. And they executed her? This was her home. Me and my brother used to play right here. And Simon wanted what we had. He gave us our final warning. Oh, shit. After Rick ended it, he went along because we didn't think we had a choice. But here's us choosing. Until you hung Gregory. And actually, you're preaching to the right person, because Maggie's not preaching every life counts. You showed us the way. Oh my god, you've set the tone, Maggie, without even realising it. They murdered my mother. She shot my brother. Uh -oh. Right here. Oh, okay. And they took everything because they could. Girl, karma can come back for you. I'm so conflicted. I'm sure a lot of people are. You asked me to beg for his life. Oh. He was crying and you smiled. Oh, um, that's a bit nasty, that is, girl. I needed him. He was only 11 years old. <gasps> okay, yeah, then take her out. If that's going to make you sleep easier at night, girl, take her out. I don't even know her name anyway. Say it. Please. What did you say? No exceptions. No exceptions. Oh, that might be the last words you ever write, girl. 
you can't really go around um, laughing and killing 11-year-old kids and not expecting people to be pissed off with you. Oh shit, they really did it. There's going to be so many repercussions about this, especially if Frick finds out. Oh my days, I'm scared. Cindy said I showed him the way. Oh. She did the same thing for me. We gave Rick's way a chance. I know. It's time to see Negan. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Rick, I appreciate you. I respect your decisions, but I also respect a lot of people not respecting your decisions too. All right, guys, the episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. And right at the top of the episode, the big question on everyone's lips was, who killed Justin? I thought, oh my god, this is going to be one of those who done it kind of episodes. There's so many suspects. Who could it be? Will we even find out by the end of this episode? Or will I have so many questions at the end? Well, we actually did find out at the end of the episode. It was the Oceanside Girls enacting revenge. And I was a bit like, oh my god, what is going on? But then once they were like, Maggie, you taught us the way with Gregory and these little bitches. They killed our boys. I thought, yeah, actually go for it. I'll be on your side for this one. I'll turn a blind eye. And by the way, thanks for killing Justin. That answers the mystery of the episode, right? Hell no, it doesn't. Because along comes Anne slash Jadis. And she goes back to the bloody junkyard. She has a walkie-talkie in her hand. And she's like, hello, hello, hello. And someone goes, have you got A or B? And she's like, I ain't got either. And they're like, we need to trade an A for this deal to continue. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? And then Gabe pops up out of nowhere. And he's a bit like, what the fuck is going on? And then Jadis is like, listen, I like to trade people, but I need you to come with me and help me. We're going to find these people in a helicopter. And then Gabe's like, oh, no, we ain't. I'm going to grass you up and snitch on you. And I'm going to tell Rick this weird plan. And then she's like, oh, my days, I thought you were an E person. E person? I mean B person. Too many letters. I'm getting confused. I think he might have been an A person, though, because he slapped him in the head with the gun. And all the while that is happening, Maggie and Daryl are still conspiring i don't know if it's the conspiring is the right word but they are not for rick's plan anymore they said we gave it a try it didn't work we're gonna go see negan and i'm in full support of this decision because we did give it a try and it didn't work and we should go see negan let's try get closure on the old enemy before these new helicopter enemies make an appearance because they are definitely gonna be the enemy even though i don't know anything about them you don't just be like trading people and be like good members of society and i can't wait to find out so if you want to be with me while i find out and you haven't done so already feel free to hit the subscribe button if you like this video give it a thumbs up down in the comment section i want to know are you team rick and michon or are you team Daryl and maggie and over on my patreon you can watch this episode and the whole of season nine already in its entirety unedited uncensored and uncut link for that is in the description below and until next time guys stay safe out there